can't stand to see someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win! Oh, it just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, this isn't about who wins and who loses. It's about what's right. And that is why you're gonna lose! deserve that kind of mercy. No, 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 come on! You can't just leave me behind. If you leave me here, I'll die! Leave him. He made his bed. He can lie in it. What? No! You can't just... How dare you! Stop ignoring me! <laughs> no, no, no! No! <laughs> Aiden. We heard the fighting. It doesn't matter. We've got bigger problems to deal with. <laughs> you retrieved the Eversource. Yes, ma'am. Everyone, stay together! Jesse, there you are! Jesse, the situation is getting out of hand. We simply can't stop all the monsters and protect my people. So long as we stay here, the more danger my people will be in. I guess we could jump for it? The waterfalls. The waterfalls can take us to safety. What? Are you crazy? The waterfalls will just take us into the void. We'll die if we fall down there. But there's nothing but monsters up here. The void won't kill you. There's land down there. Everyone just watch me and follow my lead, okay? Jesse has done nothing but help us so far. I will show you just how much I believe in Jesse's word. You enough. You've saved us all. So 
what do we do now? Everything's just so different and scary, but exciting. What do you do? You go have fun. You guys were cooped up there so long. Now you can do whatever you want. I wonder what happened to Aiden. Hey, guards. Check out what washed up right next to me. Uh, Freeze, criminals! You're not going anywhere! Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. I knew they wouldn't get away. Yeah, I feel a little bad. They just got in over their heads. Way over. Attention! Attention! Hello, hello everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky. It is time for us to run free. Build whatever we please. Wow, those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Hey, both of you, fighting isn't going to solve anything. It will if I win. Oh, of course you'd think that way. No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves. Be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? Who are we supposed to listen to? Of course the people can build, but we need a system, some rules. Rules aren't bad. Well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan. But you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things. But you gotta be safe about it. I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. The day that Sky City was liberated. This is a second chance at making a civilization. Don't waste it, okay? I don't intend to. I give my solemn oath. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but... She's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for Nightfall too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. Been a while since I've had to start from square one. Ugh. Just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. You shouldn't worry so much. I've got our way home all figured out. When I was on the ground with the Founder before, I totally found the portal! And you didn't say anything?! Yeah! I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. Did I not mention it either? Cuz... I could've sworn I said something. No! You didn't! Hmm. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on! Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are! So sorry about her. That's okay. It looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we gonna do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides, continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Now that you don't have to run everything yourself, maybe you could use the time to travel. There's a lot to see. Yes, that's... A rather nice notion. How would you like to go explore some of those, um, very tall vertical rocks? We call them mountains, usually. Lovely. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, uh, that's a boy's name. Huh, what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse. I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. 
we have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversaurs. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? Oh, I just saw those pigs and, you know. Oh, yes. He would be really happy to know you're still having adventures like this. See? Just like I told you, one portal back home. Ugh. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No! A little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. Wait till Axel and Olivia hear where we've been. They'll never believe it. That's not what I was expecting.